Yeah. Well, first, I want to point out that Steve talks some trash on Twitter. I am definitively wearing a cooler jacket. Um, most importantly in gaming, though, is the the big trend is where the money is moving, right? So gaming is it was on track to be like a $191 billion business. People are thinking it's going to contract to $188 billion business. That's mostly because a lot of games got pushed back. The piece of the pie that's growing in there is microtransactions. If you look at the mobile market, almost all the games are free to play. And you buy a lot of stuff in the game. So that's where the revenue comes from. Fortnite is one of the biggest games in the world. Free to get Fortnite. Lots of transaction in Fortnite. It makes all the money for Epic. What you're seeing from all these companies is right now you can buy Madden. I buy Madden every year for $75. It is basically a roster update. But there's tons of transactions inside of it. So if you're looking at a cloud business like an Amazon Luna or a Microsoft's Game Pass, you've got stable revenue because you've got a subscription business. But then inside the games you've got the ability to make hit products that transact at a higher rate from consumer money. You can't do that in music. You can't do that in movies. No one's shopping during the movie. But people are shopping in the games, and I think that's where a lot of the opportunity is. That's where your app loving comes in with targeted advertisement. That's where data comes in. You can target digital products to consumers. That's the part of the market that's growing, and I think that's where fundamentally all the energy is because every other kind of entertainment product is moving towards streaming. So I, I wonder uh, where can you isolate that opportunity because you've got bigger uh, transaction players out there that y you can't uh, necessarily play them for digital transactions. You've got the big app stores that are a part of Apple, maybe a part of Microsoft, et cetera. You're not necessarily going to get the lift off of that trend there. Um, you, you've got the, the chip makers uh, that are doing mobile chips or that are doing console chips. Y you don't necessarily get the benefit there. W where can you, where can an investor look to say, okay, if I want to bet on these microtransactions increasing, here's a company that has IP skin in the game. Uh, well, so I would definitely look at the big players in games. Like, obviously, Microsoft is doing well. I think EA right now, regardless of the acquisition noise, you know, they just had their earnings. Their CEO said, look, we're on track to be independent. We know we can be independent. They've got some of the biggest franchises in the world. I really did just buy Madden again. They changed the passing mechanic. I'm so much worse at it. I'm going to play that game forever and ever just to get back to how good I was when I was 16. Those franchises for EA are huge. Then I think not necessarily the chip side, but on the streaming side, game streaming gets them away from Apple's App Store rules. If they can just stream the games to you over the web, which many of the companies are trying to do, and there's a lot of providers in the chain that create that technology platform, then their revenue is going to increase because they're not paying 30% to Apple. So I think there's a lot of opportunities for how they get away from the platforms. Microsoft's trying to move directly into smart TVs now. Uh, and instead, pass those revenues on to other partners, it, it may be at different cuts. All right. Neil Patel, thank you. That is a cool jacket, but you should go with a lighter shade. It's summer. <laughs>